Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. I bought Spirit Knight, I bought Talismans, and now I'm ready to finish talking to people. How about taking it easy for a little while, eh? I guess it might be worth talking to some of the villagers, though. I've been talking. I think I talked to pretty- oh, naked people. There's something that's a nice, hot steam bath. The secret to a long life, I say. These baths are me, and I am these baths. Right now, you are in fact inside my very being. That is disgusting. This room is filled with the beads of sweat from my body. You are gross, bye. These baths are a mirror of the world. Everything is here. Joy and sorrow, war and peace. This is where I've chosen to do battle. You too must choose your own way. Y'all are insane. Okay, I guess it's time to go talk to the guy in the middle of the village. Who is your master? Hey! So, you are the heroes who saved our village. I am Lady Julian, second in command, Cornelius. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Jelly, is something wrong? Nothing. We don't know each other. So, you are the travelers who rescued the people of our village. It is thanks to you that no lives are lost. Thank you. I am very grateful. Once again, I must ask that your lips remain tightly sealed with regards to your mission, most especially in front of Her Highness. Do we have an understanding? Who are you? Yes, yes, exactly. Very good. So you don't serve... Julianne? Does he have another master? Did Julian want to sacrifice dead? We shall soon depart. Make preparations immediately. Ah, your highness, depart. But for where? We must ensure that nothing like this can ever happen again during our absence. Mobilize the knights and have them eliminate all nearby monsters. As you wish, I shall have the knights prepare for departure. He serves another master. He doesn't serve just a princess. What's wrong? Did she do something to you? Want me to give her a piece of my mind? How about I give her a blast of my magic instead? Be quiet, both of you. What's the matter? She said she was going to have the knights eliminate all the nearby monsters. If they do that, that little boy will... Please, Setsuna, try and forget about that boy. You have an important duty to fulfill, remember? Yes, I know. Hey. I... I agree with Setsuna. I want to help him. Here. I mean, he's just like us rare bloods, right? He's not quite human and not quite a monster. I'll bet he feels all alone in the world. If I could just talk to him, like Setsuna did, I think we could become friends. Ugh, not you too, Kier. Are we going to help him then? Fine. Thank you, Jelly. How unlike you, Jelly. Oh well. This is Setsuna's journey. We gotta respect her wishes, right? Thank you, Nidor. No need to thank me. I don't want you to have any regrets when this journey's over. Alright, it's settled then. Come on, we need to hurry. Thank you, everyone. So we find that little monster before the knights do and help him escape. Have I got that right? Yes, please. Return to join my party. Nidor, join my party. Kier, join my party. <clears throat> Hidden agenda. Well, now that everyone's back, I can do this. And I can do this. Uh, not fire bit. Mm, I guess I'll give you Valiant Claw. You are weak, and I need to give you. Aw, oh, dang it! I need to give you Life Force Magic. Bio, Regen, Drain. Nope. Heal first and foremost. Return or no? Oh, Spirit Knight. Yeah, Stone Slash or. Oh man, this has much more uh, combos. Let's go. Okay. Let us head off back into the caves. Doop dooby doo boop boop. I wonder how much longer we'll be in a northern frontier, or if we go into any other frontiers at all. I need to save. I know there's a save point inside the cave, but just in case anything happens, 
I don't want to risk it. I'm getting super tired, so I might have to keep this episode short. Hopefully it will be short. Ah! There you are! Humans! Yo, it's me. Hey, don't be scared, it's me. You're that girl from before. That's right, I'm glad you remembered me. I'm glad I got to see you again one last time. I'm gonna go kill that woman before she comes to kill me. Bad idea. No, you mustn't do that. You mustn't kill anyone. You're a gentle boy. I know you are. But Mama's gone. I'm scared. What am I supposed to do? Live. You need to leave here and live on. What good will that do? Well, you meant me, right? If you keep on living, you're sure to meet other people too. That's how lives become links to one another. I don't get it. One day you will. All you need to do is keep living. Alright, I'll try. I'll try living, like you say. I feel like I can trust you. But why are you not being so kind to me? Wait, but why are you being so kind to me? I'm on a journey to try and make sure there's a future for everyone. I want that future to include you. Thank you. Alright, I'll do my best. It's a promise. Yeah, it's a promise. Alright, I promise. And then Julian kills him right here. Because she comes back into the cave. Goodbye. We find his dead body right when we leave the cave. I hope he'll be alright. He'll be fine. I don't want to say something too downer. I'm glad to hear you say that. I think so too. I believe in him. In his future. I want things to change, no matter how long that might take. This land. This way of life. The relationship between humans and monsters. Come on, let's go back. If we hang around here too long, Julianne will get suspicious, right? Ha! Huh, don't worry about her. One blast of my magic and she'll be sorry she ever messed with us. I don't like Kier, he's too smarmy. Yes, yes, alright. Do I hear my name? What are you doing here? Training. Yet you stand around talking cordially? What a lax training. I'm gonna slap your face. <sighs> Mind your business. Hmm, anyway. You head back to the village. My people are about to hold a banquet in your honor. I hope you shall accept their gratitude. We'll be happy to. Give me your food. I had heard that the masked mercenaries favored solitude and avoided contact with others. But you are remarkably socially disposed, it would seem. Unless, of course, you insinuate something else entirely. You're imagining things, I suppose. It's easy to get paranoid when you're head of a knighthood. Seriously, what is your deal? Come on, let's go. The heck? Whoa! I have not seen those cobras. Cool. Damn, she took that thing out in one clean hit. Guess she ain't all talk after all. What was it you said again? One blast of your magic and she'd... <laughs> Alright, we better protect ourselves. Setsuna. Mm, are you trying to get eaten? He's right, Setsuna. Not all monsters are harmless like that boy. You need to accept that some of them can be reasoned with, and some of them can't. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for worrying you. <laughs> Burning breath! Uh... Let's just go with charge. Look! I can also take it out in one hit. Oh, Julienne ain't the only special one here. Why do you keep coming back for me? Are you unharmed? I'm flawless! I must say, I am impressed with your prowess in battle. You would make fine recruits for the knighthood. Yeah, not interested. I see. How unfortunate. Very well. I shall return to the village ahead of you. Try not to be too tardy. We never told her that Setsuna was the sacrifice, huh? That's why she's just like, you guys are whatever. Ugh, what's with her? Come on, let's go. There's gotta- there's gonna be a banquet, right? Let us go to the banquet. Better not see a dead little kid. 
watch, Julianne's also going to have a tragic backstory and I'm gonna feel bad and be like, oh no, she's actually better than she is. Just like Nidor. Kier, I always thought he'd be an annoying little kid. He got even more annoying. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, nighttime. Hey, look, there's a big fire over there. They must be getting our banquet ready. Are you fishing for sympathy? Seriously, what's wrong with you? No, it's not that. I know it can't be helped. I understand that. I know it's not that easy. If everything could be solved by talking things through, then the sacrificial pilgrimages wouldn't have gone on this long. But still, I believe that we could change things on this journey. We're not really going to go to the banquet, are we? Let's look for a guide. You're right, we need to find someone to take us across the ice and get out of here. What, so we're not going to the banquet after all? No, please, go ahead, take your time. You're scaring me, Eterna. Come on, I was only kidding. Let's all go and look. You must be able to find someone who can help us get across the Floberg waters. Hey, I thought of someone. Professor Papyrus. What's happening? Huh? What are they doing? A knight must never turn his back on a monster, no matter the circumstances. You must remember this always. Unless our hearts are as one, our kingdom shall never be restored. Yet despite this, in our last battle against the monsters, these two young knights attempted to turn tail and flee. Not only is this unbefitting conduct for a knight, it is an impediment to our kingdom's restoration. Thus, in the glorious and honorable name of our kingdom, I, Julian, hereby sentence these two men to death. Please wait, we didn't try to turn tail. We had no choice but to turn our backs on the monsters to aid a child who had failed to escape. Silence, enough of your feeble excuses. What the hell is wrong with her? She's psycho! Why, Lady Julianne? Before, you would command us to always prioritize human life over combat. So why? Why do you now lust for violence so? Do you take pleasure in doing battle with the monsters? Not only are you blind to your failings, but you attempt to turn the blame onto me. Despicable. Simply inexcusable. Whoa, whoa, come on. Is this your idea of a banquet lady? This is crazy! Aha, it is the heroes who saved our village. Is something wrong? There's no need to execute them. Damn right there, ain't. What are you, crazy? What the hell is carrying on like this in front of your own people possibly going to accomplish? The people of the village look up to you so much. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you trying to kill the very people you are supposed to be protecting? We must protect the lives of those who will create the future. Ha! Huh. You are to lecture me on the preciousness of life, are you? You travelers, judging by both your performance in battle and the tone you now take, it would appear you are not in fact mere travelers at all. What noble cause is this journey of yours in aid of, pray tell? The future of this land and the lives of everyone in it, and that's what's in it, aid of. The future of this land and the lives of everyone in it? I see. I had my suspicions, but now it is certain. You are the sacrifice and her party, are you not? Be gone. Ah! Here! Why? Why is the sacrifice alive? Is she being controlled by something? Lady Julianne, please control yourself. Quickly, carry her highness inside at once. So maybe Cornelia Cornelius does really serve Julianne. And he was following her orders, but something something possessed Julianne to act this way. They really that's why she's getting rid of all the monsters. But she also wants to sacrifice God? I don't know. Kira, are you alright? You're not injured, are you? Ugh, I'm done for. God, I'll never make it. If you've got that much energy left, I think you'll be fine. Hey, right at the last modem, I used my magical energy to soften the blow, you know. Any regular person would have been lucky to get away with their life. Anyway, what the hell happened to Julianne just now? Forget about her. We're going to leave here. Let's do it now. We do still need someone to show us across the Floberg waters, though. Why don't we take another look around, just in case? Well, I did want to take a look around, but then cutscene happened. 
Dude! Dude! I need your help! Dude! I can't believe this is happening to Lady Julianne. She's lost her senses. Perhaps a childhood friend, Lilas, might know something. Are you for real? Now I have to find this dude! Lilas! Donde esta? Doko da yo? I don't want to talk to the lady! I want to talk to the sheriff! Curses. Ayo. Ayo, Lalas. Oh, man. You're not him. Lilas is probably hiding out in some shady corner. Can't touch the boats. Lilas, are you in the sauna? In the steam house? Yung. Where you at, man? I probably can't go into Julianne's big house. Because there's a guard. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Hmm. I like how they're dusk, it's kind of like an orangey glow, like it actually is in wintertime. Because in wintertime, sunset, it is, um, it is orange from the reflection of the light on the snow. I have nothing to say to you. Do not interfere in our business, guest or no guest. If you do so any further, I shall show you no mercy. I saved the lives of two of those dudes, man. This is terrible. What can we possibly do to help her highness? Curses, why is there nothing I can do to help? Cause you're weak! Hey, there you are. Yes? What is it? Take us across the ice. <laughs> Me? But right now I cannot possibly... You're that guy Julianne knocked out cold, ain't ya? Yes, that's me. Um, would you please tell us a little about Julianne? I get the feeling she isn't her normal self right now. So you can tell. Hmm, where should I begin? When we first got here, you were arguing with Julianne, right? What was that about? What was the day she changed? I don't care about your relationship right now. I remember it vividly. One day, when out slaying monsters, she ended up stranded. Stranded? Word reached the village that she and her companions had been caught up in an avalanche. Julianne should have been alright. She went back for a lone night who failed to get away in time. There was a fierce blizzard, and eventually we gave up all hope that she could have survived. But then one day, a month or so later, Julianne returned to the village, alone. Most people rejoiced and called it a miracle, but some were puzzled. Thinking about it logically, survival should have been impossible. All I know is that ever since that day, Julianne has changed. Sometimes she is so cruel and ruthless that I cannot be even believe it is her. But everything she does, she does for the sake of the people. At least, that is what I thought. So what did you mean about Julianne asking you for help? Julianne came to me with a request. She said that if she were to ever turn her blade against an innocent person, if that ever happens, then she wanted me to lock her away, somewhere far away from anyone. Lock her away? That's a pretty odd thing to ask someone to do, ain't it? Something is happening to Julianne. I was worried, so I talked it over with the man from the Magic Consortium here in our village. He said it may be possible to return her to her old self, but to do so, I need a certain medicine. So buy it for her. He will not sell it to me. He says he would only give it to me in exchange for a spear knight stone carried by a certain monster. Defeat the monster, then. I am not strong like you. Please, help, Julianne. I beg of you. We'd love to help you, kid, but, well, you know. Alright, we'll do it. What? Come on. But we, too, have a condition. A condition? If we get the medicine in exchange for the Spirit Knight, you'll help us get across the Floberg waters. How about that? Huh? Really? All I need to do is help you across? You better keep your word. Of course, I promise. You think he's really up to it? <sighs> thank you, thank you. Come, let us talk to the person from the Magic Consortium and find out the details. 
Magic Consortium, why you gotta bother me like this? Dude. Did you want something? Oh, it's you again. You want to save her, right? It's like I told you last time, pal. You need to bring me the spare knight. So, are you up to it or not? Tell us what waiting to do. You're going in this place, are you? Hmm. Well, I guess you do look pretty song. Very well. If you pull it off, I'll mix some medicine up specially. There's just one condition. I'll do it in exchange for a Madara Spirit Knight. A Madara Spirit Knight? Madara? Whatever. They can only be obtained from the body of a certain monster. So you want us to defeat the monster and bring back the Spirit Knight Stone, right? Exactly. I see. Nice and simple. Well, can she be healed with medicine? I'd give her about 50-50, to be honest. It might already be too late. Julianne. Her magical energy isn't like that of a normal person. What do you mean? Magical energy flows through all living things in this world. Some much more than others, of course. And magical energy has one fixed rule, too. What rule's that? One person can only possess one type of magical energy. Just like blood types, everyone only has one, right? Right, yeah. You can use Spirit Knight to tempor temporarily change magical energy, though. Anyway, for some reason, I can definitely sense two types of energy from her. Is that possible? No, not normally. But something strange is happening inside her. I can't even imagine what could have caused it, though. I've been watching her, and she's getting worse by the day. I think she might have even lost control of her own will by now. You've been watching her? Is that how you get your kicks? Well, I'm running a business here. Doing people favors won't help put dinner on the table, right? Anyway, we need to hurry, don't we? Please, I beg of you, please save Julianne. Once we do, you'll be our guide. Of course, I shall give it my absolute utmost. Don't worry, you can count on us. Thank you, thank you. So all we need to do is go back to the Floberg waters and defeat this monster, right? You need to defeat a monster called a Scarly. How long it takes you to find a spirit knight will depend on your luck. Well, don't give up. Okay. Uh, Floberg waters then. Wait, what if I already have the spirit knight? I don't think I fought a Snarly though. Nope, I did not. Okay. Wait, do I have to talk to Lylas too? Please, I beg of you. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go to the waters. Oh, wait. I need to buy a... I need to stock up on healing items. I forgot to do that last time. Because eh. just in case, you never know when you might need it. Bye. Potion. Yeah. Look how much money I have. 30. Ooh, mid ethers are probably super important. Uh, antidote. Get 5. I'll get 8. 7. Remove all status elements. Get a lot. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Being in water, 20. Good. 10 to 14. I'll get one just to make it even, Steven. There we go. And I still have a ton of money left. What do you know? Bum, 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 bum. I like this waltzy song. Oh man, nothing really happened in this episode, but I am getting super tired and hungry. So I'm. I just have to end it here. Yeah, it's short, but I'm tired. I really want to find out what happened to Julianne, but I don't know how long this Floberg Waters thing is going to take me, so... Yeah, I'm ended here. Still mysterious things happening. Uh, I hit my mic again. Gosh, why am I doing this? But yeah, hopefully this Floberg Water things won't take too long next time and we get to find out the mystery of what happened to Julianne. And if she's actually a nice person after we fix her problem, and what the deal is up with Cornelius and what he's going to do with us after Julian is fixed. So many questions to be answered. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.